fee fi fo fum One long year, and your time has come. No marks, no scars, no blemishes on the cow. But inside, I've been dying to play this game. Everywhere I go, all the YouTubers ask me, Did you really beat both quests of Zelda on the NES? Did you really pick up Ganon over your head and slam him? But today, the day has come for you, Zelda 2. With the whole world watching, I'm going to prove I can beat you too. But I can see the fear in all my cower maniacs. They know when I slam this game down, the fault line is going to break from Toronto down to Tampa, Florida. And as all of Ganon's minions fall into the ocean, as all of Ganon falls into the ocean, so too will all the cower maniacs. But don't fear. Just climb onto the biggest cow's back in the world. And I'll cow paddle us. No, backstroke us all to safety. Moo! Welcome to Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. After Ganon was destroyed, Impa told Link a sleeping spell was cast on Princess Zelda. She will wake only with the power of the number 3 Triforce sealed in a palace in Hyrule. To break the seal, crystals must be placed in the statues in the six well-guarded palaces. Link set out on his most adventuresome quest yet. Yep, it's been one long year since I did Zelda, both quests for the NES. That was my first ever LP. And here we are with this one now. Well, let's get this show on the road. I already set up a file. You can see there's one I've beaten before. And there's my brother. Yet again, another game. He's another Zelda game he hasn't beaten. <laughs> but I shouldn't, shouldn't get mad at him for that one. This one is very hard. We start off with the sleeping Zelda. And Link's just uh, has a nice little smile on his face. I wonder... I wonder what he's doing with the sleeping Zelda. Wouldn't exactly, you know, it's not, she's not dead. Body's probably still warm. I wouldn't call it necrophilia. But, you know, it's probably not right. It's like, it's like he roofied her or something. Anyways, first thing you want to do is come to this cave. And, um, yeah, you can't see because we don't have our candle yet. But you can sort of see the shadows of things moving along the ground. So if you just take your time, you'll be okay. Just keep shooting your sh shooting your sword, which actually isn't that powerful this time. But you'll be okay. Come on. Oh, it, damn it! You bastard! Can't believe it hit me. Oh, you. Okay, now you're starting to piss me off. There we go. Oh, a pea bag. Nice. I like to save my points because I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Because I like to go... Yes. Um, I don't really feel I need the life, and the magic power isn't really necessary, so the first upgrade I like to go for is the sword power, actually. So I like to save my points, which is always an option. You don't have to use them. And when you run into these things, boom. Just like that, fairy. Otherwise, some t usually fairies don't come out that often, though. It's usually... The mon- well, <laughs> there's another fairy, but whatever. It's usually the monsters, and the small little blobs mean easy, and the big brooding monsters are difficult. This is a town, and the town is now huge. <laughs> what is this town? Welcome to Raru. Raru. Sorry, I know nothing. <laughs> what a ditz. Oh, and there's your twin. Sorry, I know nothing. Yeah, typical. Both twins know nothing. Everybody looks alike around here. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, who's this guy? If all else fails, use fire. Wow, what what advice. Amazing. But anyways, yeah, this chick here. Please, let me help you. Come inside. Mm, I'll come inside. I'm not talking about your house. Oh no, that was oh that was wrong. Oh no no no, that was oh my god, oh my god, that might be the worst thing I've ever said. Please forgive me, Art Man. Oh my god, that was just that was horrible. Usually this kind of looking guy, only the hammer can destroy a roadblock. 
Usually a guy that looks like that has a, a more helpful clue. Now this lady came out of her house. You want to talk to people that come out of their house. Talk with my father before you leave town. So basically you have to talk with her father if you want to marry her. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The game froze? Are you kidding me? I went into her house and the game froze? I'll be right back. I've never seen this before in my life. Moo. Moo K, okay, we're back and we're gonna try to go in this house again. Hopefully the game won't freeze on me otherwise. Wow, we'll be in some trouble. Talk with my father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, goody, we made it in the house this time. See, I'm actually playing this on the uh, original Zelda NES cartridge on my Nintendo, so... I don't know, maybe the game's just getting too old and starting to degrade or something. Each town has a wise man. Learn from him. I think this is the only time you greet the woman inside the house. Every other time, she doesn't seem to be there anymore. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Can we do this? Yes. Oh, we can almost got behind him completely. In Parappa Desert, use this magic to survive. I don't know, I always like to try to get behind him and kneel down. <laughs> you know, not that there's anything wrong with that or anything, you know. <laughs> try to kneel down at a wise man. Yeah, I just helped your father out there, yeah. <laughs> So there we go, there's our magic, and that's what we wanted the magic container for. Shield magic, which will obviously shield us from danger. Now, off to the- oh no, we hit a big guy. Yeah, this big guy means one of these things. Oh, that, that's worth 10 points? Oh boy. Nice. I didn't think it was worth any points, actually. I thought it was worth one, those zero points. Zero things that are worth zero points usually steal your life. Here he comes, here he comes. There's always this one guy in the dark. He's gonna harm you in this cave. That's no good. Now the desert is up. Oh boy. The desert palace. The Parappa Desert Palace. They're not dungeons in this game, they're palaces. Is up that way. There's something very important down this way. Which some of you might already know from either playing this game or seeing another LP. Not that there's another LP you're actually doing this game right now. Because if there was, you know, you would think you would have finished it by now. You know? <laughs> oh man, Is it, oh man, I shouldn't take shots. No, no, that's not right. That's not right. You know, some people have... He has a very busy life and this is a very... This is a very, uh... What was I going to say? A very difficult game. So, you know, just, just, just take your time. Take your time. It's all good. Here we go. Oh, and he got me. No, no, no. Oh, boy. I don't like this. Oh, I knew it. I'm going to have to. Okay, I want to. Oh, there, there we go. I just got magic up, but I still. Oh, no, no, no. Don't actually go. Okay, okay, I was gonna fight him, I was gonna fight him, but forget it. I won the extra points, but forget it. Just run for your life. Go down here, get the heart container. I know he's gonna try to hit me, but I'm... Oh, wow, my shield actually blocked it. Nice. Hey, 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 just, just die, I want your points. Oh, and you don't even give me points? You don't even give me points, I battled you for nothing. That makes me feel low. That makes me feel low. I wanted the points, and I didn't get the points didn't get the points, so I want the points. Damn bubbles. I don't know, going back is always harder. I don't know why. Maybe maybe because I'm in a rush to get out of here. But don't rush. Just take your time. Where are the bubbles coming from? Like, is somebody taking a bubble bath down there or something? Like, <gasps> Oh, I thought it was... Oh, I thought I was in trouble there. <gasps> that actually scared me a little bit. Oh, I'm cornered. I'm cornered. Now, in the hard one here, it's not much different than than the easy one, other than you got blobs and these little vines that stick out of the ground. Or I guess they're vines, some kind of tentacle type thing. There's the palace. Palace number one. Palace number one. We're in the first palace. How does that make you feel now? It 
makes me feel really good that we're here already and these things are worth nothing but they'll steal your points don't let them steal your points cause then you will feel sad inside yes don't let them steal your points or touch your penis they'll molest you <laughs> skeleton warrior 30 points where do you come from? It's a dead end, man. There is a key. The key! The key! Of course, this is the only Zelda that's side-scrolling, other than some parts in those Game Boy Advance games, which you just, which you have seen recently. Come on! I wanna get you guys. I don't care if you're worth two points. Every two points matters. I love my points. Especially when I'm trying to work towards a goal here. Cause you're supposed to level up a lot faster early on in the game. Later in the game it will take you forever to get levels, but you will encounter enemies worth more points too. And that's why we had to go that way, because there's the locked door. Boom. Unlock your door. Unlock your door. Open up and let someone in through the door, but check the peephole first. It could be an evil person behind the door. Who has a gun and knife? Who has a gun and knife? Alright. Attack will go up. That's what, we, that's what we've been waiting for. Get your attack going. Now we have more attack. Get off my back, I will attack. And you- Oh, no, you didn't do that. You didn't do that. But yet he did. He didn't. But yet he did. Wanna go up here first. Most people would go down that uh, elevator we saw there, but I know better. I know that if you go down there, you'll run into a spot where you'll just go, Ah, no! And you'll be in frustration mode. You won't like it very much at all. There's a key. You want to keep going, though. You think that's enough? Oh, no, no, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's never enough. Oh, we must have got some kind of a potion thing. Actually, do you want? we want to use a shield here. Because I know there's something coming up. I know there's something coming up. It's not going to be pretty. Here he is. It's not going to be pretty. He's throwing these... Nun oh, man, I mistimed that one. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Uh-oh. Can I get him? Yes. And life will go up, and we get a full life bar for it. See, I planned this out so good. Another key. Plus, we use the magic, but there, if you strike a statue, not all of them, but some of them, it's always good to try to strike a statue, because he might drop some magic. Might, just might, so, you know, always take a time and hit a statue in the head. Hey, you're back. This time you gave me two points. Two points. That's a big win. Go out there tonight and get those two points, guys. That, yeah, see, just like that, this won't do anything this time, but you stab some of those in other palaces, and uh, they'll drop some magic too. Now we can go back to the other elevator. I think this is the only game that uses elevators too. Like, I think there are some in other games where you sit there on a conveyor belt or whatever. There might be a couple instances, but like, this one uses them solely. Like, there are no stairs around here. It's all elevators. This thing doesn't do anything, does it? And if it did, I would've just wasted it. Oh, I hate this room. We're gonna- Oh no, already? You gotta be kidding me. He's gonna come up here too, isn't he? Please don't come up here. Oh, okay, now I gotta run away. <laughs> Cause I I'm just not messing with those things. For the longest time, I didn't even think you could kill- You gotta be kidding me. Oh, now I just gotta take the hit. I didn't even know you could kill those things at first. It was more of just... Because, like, it takes forever to kill them. Forever- Oh, you bastard. Not only does it harm you, but it takes your magic away, too. I hate those things. Oh, and these guys here on the stairs are the worst, because you try to jump- Let's see! Let's do that big- Oh, no! Oh, I almost panicked. I almost panicked, and he touched me. See, because they do that big jump off the stairs, and that pisses me off. Hate that big jump off the stairs. Thinks he's so damn cool. 
making your big blob jump. Grab the point bag. That's a pee bag. Wow, you gotta grab your bags of pee. Big bags of pee. Imagine you had a bag of pee. That'd be sick. Oh, here, we're gonna wanna use a shield here, because we got double enemy in this room. Now don't push this guy f too far back. Try to stand your ground and let him come back into you. Because if you walk too far down the room, you'll be facing two enemies at once. Hey, pee bag. Nice, that's a lot of points too. Magic will go up. Um, if I skip it, we should get life will go up. I think I'd rather have that. Yes, I'd rather have life will go up at this point. Because magic isn't that long. Look at that, we timed that out when we can have both. Sure, let's go for it. Wow. Okay, bonus. We have both. Now these things here, if you kind of just do a jump and stab, you usually get them a lot better. Whew. See, no problem. Open the door with your key, and we have the almighty candle. The almighty candle. And that's where we're going to stop it for this episode. We will conclude Palace Number 1 next time, everybody. Until then, I'm Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, moo!